In this project, we'll continue sharing smart tips and tricks for arts and DIYs. We'll show life hacks to spare much of your time and money to create your favorite homemade crafts. Are you fond of string art? Then you'll find the following hacks helpful. Thin, small nails are generally used to decorate frames, pictures, or holders in a string art design. It's a real challenge to handle these little things. Firstly, they tend to scatter around. And secondly, you have to risk hitting your fingers. There is a way out. Here are some simple and useful tricks to get the stuff at hand and keep your fingers safe while hammering a nail. Take a small round magnet. It'll help keep your nails nearby. And use a small decorative clothespin to keep your fingers safe. Just hold the nail with the pin and start hammering. The clothespin trick is very safe and effective. Another way to safely hammer the tiny nails is to use tweezers. These small nail hacks will help you in your string art projects. It's the right time to create some original wall decor or a jewelry holder. Now, we'll share a cool tip to help you quickly collect small metal stuff. Take a blank metal ring and place the small round magnet to the pad. It's smart and convenient. Twist the ring to turn it down. The magnet will attract the whole small metal stuff scattered around the surface. You can use the ring in a different way. Wow! The ring with the nails is fabulous! Though it's just an organizer, it can become a decorative ring. Just use a hot glue gun to fasten the nails. There's another trick to gather the nails or pins and keep them in one place. Attach the magnet to the bottom of a small cup. You can use super glue. It will help gather all the tiny steel stuff and hold it inside. The nails and pins are kept safe in one place. And now, a smart hack to flatten and smooth crumpled ribbons or fabric strips without ironing. We'll use a hair straightener. Flat iron the ribbon as if it were your hair. Perfect! The ribbons are flat and smooth. To keep the ribbon from fraying, snip off the end first. Then, use a lighter to heat seal the edge. Now, the edge will always be neat. Do you love pastel drawing? Dry pastel shades will smudge over the paper and hands. There's a little trick to solve this problem. Spray a drawing with hairspray. The thin lacquer film will protect the drawing from smudging. Now, if you touch it, your hand will keep clean. Your favorite ballpoint pen stopped writing, didn't it? Don't have a spare one at hand? Remove the refill. Still doesn't write? Move the refill above the flame. It will write again. The pen will work more. Just be careful to notice when it's out of ink. Does the eraser disappear as often as you use a pencil? Use a pen grip, it erases perfectly. An ordinary elastic band will work well too. Wrap it around the pencil. You've got an eraser. There are no traces of drawing. We often work with fabric making felt notebooks. You can find felt in handmade supply shops where they sell it by small pieces. Sometimes you need more felt of a particular color, but there is none of the same fabric in the shop anymore. Thus, you need a bigger piece. The felt has a special feature. It stretches without tearing. It just becomes thinner. Stretch it in different directions. Okay, the felt piece has become bigger. Moreover, you can change its shape due to the flexibility of the felt. 
Use small tufts to cover unattractive junctions or visible glue seams. And now, a few tips of how to make holiday decorations. This eye-catching garland and table balls can be low-cost centerpieces of a holiday party design. However, it can take much time to make it. You'll need a balloon and threads and white glue. You'll have to smear the glue across the thread. The glue can get on your hands and on the table. And the threads are constantly slipping off the ball. And then at last, you've got no desire to continue. It's the right time to invent something interesting. Take a plastic cup. Pierce the bottom with a needle and pull up the thread of the necessary color. Pour a bit of white glue into the cup. The thread passes through the glue. You can wrap it around the balloon, leaving your hands clean. And there's no glue drops on the table. Cool! We've made a lot of balls quickly and easily. The handmade garland and lighters look cute and create a holiday atmosphere. Well, now you'll learn a few hot glue gun hacks. Generally, we use it to fasten things, but it can also help us make low-cost embellishments. Take a custom-shaped ice cube tray. Smear petroleum jelly or any fatty cream inside the chosen molds. Fill them with the hot glue. When dry, remove the figures. It'll take a little time to get unique decorations. You only have to paint them any colors you want. Sometimes you need to correct the shape of the hot glue. It happens when you accidentally touch the glue when it's still hot. Dip your finger in water and smooth the surface. That's all! You can decorate some interior items using the hot glue. A plain jar can be turned into a stylish design element using the hot glue. It can be easily applied to the glass surface. It looks unusual, just like whipped cream. Cover it with acrylic paints and get an awesome soap dispenser. The hot glue gun can help make a custom decoration on a white phone case. Outline the chosen image. Create a 3D effect using the hot glue. Gradually cover the whole surface. When dry, apply the acrylic paint coat. We've got the new phone case design quickly and easily. You can use a paper template. Add the hot glue to make the image volumetric. Color the glue stain white. Attach a clay yolk and a real-like fried egg will embellish your phone case. You can use this hack to craft any handmade jewelry. Cover the chosen cutout with the hot glue. Add some embellishments. Attach it to the felt base. A fabulous moon pendant is ready. You can easily make this simple jewelry. Are your scissors dull when you need them urgently? Here is a way out. You need ordinary foil. Cut it with scissors again and again. Test the result. The scissors cut the fabric perfectly. It took just a few minutes to sharpen the tool. If you need to cut out a template, you'd better take a utility knife. It cuts down clear lines to make a craft look neat. The craft knife creates precise images and allows you to work with tiny elements. It spares time and effort when making paper crafts. In this case, it helps decorate candle holders. The craft knife can become blunt as any other tool. Sharpen it with the foil. Resume your job again. Fold up thick paper several times. The craft knife cuts down each layer. It's sharp enough. You'll need the razor-edged craft knife when making cards. It's easy working with a sharp knife even if the task is too complicated. The lines are clear. Glitter the card. Wonderful! 
The card is just like we intended to make. A segmented blade craft knife is even more convenient. We've cut intricate patterns in these paper panels using a razor-edged utility knife. We've got awesome low-cost wall decor. The cut lines are perfect. It's hard to say the panels are handmade crafts. I hope this tutorial helps you in your DIY projects. Write about your own crafting hacks in your comments. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to Trim Trim and press the bell button. We create cool accessories and decorating items and make new videos for you.